So now that we have an idea of the theory behind the game, let's put it into practice with a brief match. To give you an idea of how the game flows, this game will be Twilight Sparkle vs Rainbow Dash using cards from the trial decks. So let's begin. Before starting the game, each player shuffles their draw decks so they are randomised. You may offer your deck to your opponent to cut. This act usually involves taking roughly the top one half of the deck and placing them on the table. Cutting is usually done to ensure that a deck is randomised and you aren't cheating. Once you have done that, search your problem deck for a starting problem card and remove it. Shuffle your problem deck and then place the starting problem card face down on top of the problem deck. Make sure you have some way of keeping track of your score and your action tokens. The trial decks come with a score slider that not only helps you keep track of your score, but also tells you how many action tokens you get. Trial decks also come with some cardboard action tokens to help you keep track as well. Once you're both ready, place your main character in their home on their start side and reveal your starting problem. Which player goes first is usually determined randomly, however for the sake of this tutorial Rainbow Dash will go first. Both players then draw a starting hand of 6 cards. Players now have the option of choosing whether or not to mulligan. This is deciding if their hand contains the cards the player needs or wants, and if not, then they have the option of shuffling their opening hand into their draw deck and drawing 6 new cards. This can only be done once. Once satisfied with their opening hand, the player informs their opponent that they are ready to start. As Rainbow Dash is going first, she gains two action tokens. And since this is the first turn, she does not draw a card. As there are no troublemakers, we skip the troublemaker step and move on to the main step. Here, Rainbow Dash pays one action token to play Noteworthy to Emergency Dress Order. She then pays another action token to play another Noteworthy to It's Alive. Now that she has no action tokens, Rainbow Dash decides to move to a score phase, and as she is not meeting any requirements yet, she gains no points. She then ends her turn. Now that Rainbow Dash has finished her turn, it is now Twilight Sparkle's turn. Here she gains two action tokens and draws a card, Blue Moon. In her main phase, she plays a Comet Tail to It's Alive for one action token, and then ends her turn, saving her remaining action token. Rainbow Dash starts her turn and gains two action tokens and draws a card, Emerald Green. In her main phase, she pays two action tokens to move her Rainbow Dash main to Emergency Dress Order, and then ends her main phase. Rainbow Dash now enters her score phase. As she meets Emergency Dress Order's requirement of one white and one blue, she is successfully confronting the problem so she gains one point. As she is the first player to confront the problem, she gains the bonus point printed on the card, for a total of two points. She then ends her turn. Now it's Twilight Sparkle's turn, and since Rainbow Dash has a total of two points, Twilight Sparkle now gets three action tokens. She then draws a card, Comet Tail. She pays two action tokens to play Red Gala to Emergency Dress Order. She then plays Apple Cobbler to It's Alive for one action token and ends her main phase, saving one action token. Twilight is now confronting It's Alive, scoring one point and an additional one point because she is the first to confront it. Twilight Sparkle then ends her turn. Rainbow Dash gains three action tokens and draws Pegasus Royal Guard. She then plays Pegasus Royal Guard to It's Alive for one action token. Then she plays the event Swing Into Action to give Pegasus Royal Guard plus two blue power. She then ends her main phase and moves on to the score phase. Since Dash is confronting It's Alive, she gains one point. As she's not the first to confront it, she doesn't gain the bonus. She also gains one point as she is still confronting Emergency Dress Order. Since Rainbow Dash is confronting both Emergency Dress Order and It's Alive, thanks to Swing Into Action which lasts until the end of turn, she is triggering a double face-off. Dash adds up her total power of all her friends at both problems. She has two at Emergency Dress Order and four at It's Alive, for a total of six. Since this is a face-off, Pegasus Royal Guard's ability activates, giving it a plus one during a face-off, for a total of seven. Both players now flip the top card of their draw decks. Rainbow Dash flips Ponyville Express, which has a power of three, while Twilight flips Double Check the Checklist with a power of five. Twilight has a total power of four. Both powers are added to each player's total power, so Dash has a total of 10 and Twilight a total of 9. Rainbow Dash wins the face-off. 
As such, she gains the highest printed bonus amongst the problems, which is 1, bringing her total score to 5. The flip cards are then placed on the bottom of their player's draw decks. All characters at the solved problems move home, and the solved problems are placed on the bottom of the problem decks, and the next problems are revealed. Cloud Bursting and I Need Answers. Rainbow Dash ends her turn with one action token saved for later. Twilight gains three action tokens and draws Drill Bit. She then pays two action tokens to move Twilight Sparkle to Cloud Bursting, and another two action tokens to move Red Gala to Cloud Bursting as well. Twilight then ends her turn. Rainbow Dash gains three action tokens and draws Marvelous Chapeau. Dash then pays two action tokens to move Rainbow Dash to Cloud Bursting, and another two to move Noteworthy. Dash then moves on to a score phase. Once again, she gains one point for confronting the problem and an additional point for being the first to confront it, bringing her total score to seven. Rainbow Dash ends her turn. As Rainbow Dash has a score of seven, Twilight now gains four action tokens and draws Mare Mare. Twilight pays one action token to play Comet Tail to Cloud Bursting and then pays two to play Blue Moon to I Need Answers. Twilight then moves on to a score phase. Since Twilight is confronting Cloud Bursting, she gains one point. As Rainbow Dash is also confronting Cloud Bursting, a single face-off occurs. Twilight adds up her total power at Cloud Bursting for a total of four. Rainbow Dash has a total of two. Both players now flip the top card of their draw decks. Rainbow Dash flips Fall Free Press, which has a power of three, while Twilight flips Blue Moon with a power of two. Both powers are added to each player's total power. So Dash has a total of five and Twilight a total of six. Twilight wins the face-off, and as such, she gains the printed bonus on the problem, which is one. Like last time, the flipped cards are placed on the bottom of the player's draw decks. All friends at the solved problem move home, and the solved problem is placed on the bottom of the problem deck, and a new problem is revealed. Since Twilight Sparkle won a face-off, according to her text, we may now flip her to a boosted side. Twilight ends her turn. Dash gains four action tokens and draws yellow Parasprite. She pays one action token to play the Troublemaker face down at I Need Answers. She then plays Hoity Toity to I Need Answers for three action tokens and ends her turn. Twilight gains four action tokens and draws Professor Nay. She moves Twilight to I Need Answers for two action tokens and pays another two to also move Red Gala to I Need Answers. Twilight ends her main phase. Since she is able to confront I Need Answers, she gains one point. As she is the first to confront it, she also gains the additional two points for a total score of seven and ends her turn. Dash gains four action tokens and draws a touch of refinement. During the troublemaker phase, Dash reveals yellow Parasprite and places it covering Twilight's requirement for I Need Answers. She then enters the main phase where Hoity Toity's inspired ability activates. Looking at the top of Twilight's draw deck, Dash decides to send that card to the bottom of the deck. Dash then plays Royal Riff to I Need Answers for one action token, and then pays two action tokens to move Rainbow Dash to I Need Answers. She then pays one action token to play a touch of refinement onto Royal Riff, giving it an extra two white power. Dash ends her main phase, and since she is successfully confronting the problem, she gains one point. Since she is not the first to confront it, however, she does not gain the bonus. Since Rainbow Dash is now confronting a problem with her own troublemaker at it, According to her text, we may now flip her to a boosted side. Since the troublemaker is stopping Twilight from confronting the problem, a face-off does not occur. Rainbow Dash ends her turn. Twilight gains four action tokens and draws Cherry Jubilee. At the start of her troublemaker phase, due to Yellow Parasprite's ability, Twilight randomly discards a card from her hand. She ends up discarding Igneous Rock. Twilight wishes to remove the troublemaker, so she declares a troublemaker face-off. Twilight adds up the power of all her friends at the problem for a total of seven. Yellow Power Sprite's power is four. Both players now flip the top card of their draw decks. Rainbow Dash flips Timberwolf with a power of six, while Twilight flips Professor Nay with a power of one. Professor Nay's power is added to Twilight's total, while Timberwolf's is added to Yellow Power Sprite. So Twilight has a total power of eight, while Yellow Power Sprite has a total of ten. Yellow Power Sprite wins the face-off. As such, Twilight now selects one friend involved in that face-off and moves it home. She selects Blue Moon. The flipped cards are placed on the bottom of their player's draw decks and Twilight now enters her main phase. Twilight pays two action tokens to move Blue Moon back to I Need Answers 
and then pays one to play Professor Nay to I Need Answers. Since the troublemaker is stopping Twilight from confronting the problem, she can no longer score points from that problem. As such, Twilight ends her turn. Rambo Dash gains four action tokens and draws Sugar Twist. At the start of the main phase, Hoity Toity and Royal Rift's Inspired Ability activates, and Dash looks at the top two cards of Twilight's draw deck. She proceeds to send them both to the bottom of the draw deck. Dash then pays two action tokens to play Sugar Twist to clear in gloomy skies, and another two action tokens to play Emerald Green to clear in gloomy skies. Dash ends her main phase, and since she's still confronting I Need Answers, she gains one point. Rainbow Dash then ends her turn. Twilight gains four action tokens and draws apples and oranges. At the start of her Troublemaker phase, due to Yellow Power Sprite's ability, Twilight randomly discards a card from her hand. She ends up discarding apples and oranges. Twilight wishes to remove the Troublemaker, so she declares a Troublemaker face-off. Twilight adds up the power of all her friends at the problem for a total of eight. Yellow Power Sprite's power is four. Both players now flip the top card of their draw decks. Rainbow Dash flips Jetstream, which has a power of two, while Twilight reveals Fighting for Friendship with a power of three. Fighting for Friendship's power is added to Twilight's total, while Jetstream's is added to Yellow Power Sprite, so Twilight has a total power of 11, while Yellow Power Sprite has a total of six. Twilight wins the face-off. As such, Yellow Power Sprite is dismissed, and Twilight gains the points printed on the Troublemaker, so one. As Twilight won a face-off, Twilight Studious activates, and she gains an action token. Twilight moves on to the main phase. She pays one action token to play Cherry Jubilee to clear in gloomy skies, and another action token to play Granny Smith. Wanting to get better cards, Twilight pays one action token to draw a card. She draws Red Gala, and then pays two action tokens to play it to clear in gloomy skies. Twilight ends her main phase and enters her school phase. Since Twilight is confronting I Need Answers, she gains one point. As Rainbow Dash is also confronting I Need Answers, a single problem face-off occurs. Twilight adds up her total power of all her friends at the problem for a total of eight, while Rainbow Dash has a total of six. Both players now flip the top card of their draw decks. Rainbow Dash flips Lead Pony Badge, which has a power of three, and Twilight flips Auntie Applesauce with a power of one. Both powers are added to each player's total power, so Dash has a total of nine, and Twilight a total of nine also. Since it's a tie, both players once again flip the top card of their draw decks. Rainbow Dash flips Sweetie Sunrise with a power of one, while Twilight flips apples and oranges with a power of four. Both powers are added to each player's total power, including the previously flipped cards, so Dash has a total of 10, while Twilight has a total of 13. Twilight wins the face-off. As such, she gains the printed bonus on the problem, which is two, bringing her total score to 11. All the flipped cards are placed on the bottom of their player's draw decks, and the characters at that solved problem go home. The solved problem is placed on the bottom of the problem deck, and the next problem is revealed. Having won a face-off, Twilight gains one action token due to the studious ability. Before she ends her turn, Twilight Sparkle checks her home limit. She currently has six friends with a home limit of four. Because she's exceeding her home limit, Twilight Sparkle must retire two friends. She selects Comet Tail and Comet Tail. Once she has met the home limit, she may end her turn. Rainbow Dash is also exceeding her home limit of four. However, because it is not the end of her turn, she does not need to retire any of her friends. So there you have it, a brief example on how the game works. There is more to the game such as villains, frightened characters and combos, but for now this should give you a good idea into how the game works and flows. So, until next time, I'll catch you on the flip side.